I went up to the University of Utah and practiced for a little bit. How important was it to get that good, hard sweat in over at Utah today, yeah. knowing that tomorrow's it's for the fans. It's yeah. going to be a show, but a great experience nonetheless. Yeah, we wanted to get out here at a good time so we could work out here. You know, it's you got a little bit of altitude, mm. uh, plus the cross-country trip. You know, the guys are on the plane for a long time. You want to get off the plane. You want to get a sweat. You want to run a little bit, kind of get your legs underneath you. And uh, I think it gives us a better chance for tomorrow to get more prepared. The open practice, it's hard to get a lot done. So uh, today was a good day to get a good hard practice in. Making the NCAA tournament is sort of like the, uh, the equivalent of a bowl trip in football. Yeah. It's a reward for your players. Yeah. I know you're trying to win a game. Yeah, you're yeah, trying yeah. to beat Vanderbilt. But how important is this experience for your players now that you're in it to be here in Salt Lake City, all of the attention, the exposure, what they're going to uh, yeah. go through tomorrow in front of the fans? You yeah. went through it as a player. Yeah. How big is that for them? Well, it's exciting. You know, anytime you do this for the first time and they're going to get over there tomorrow and everything's first class and mm -hmm the open open practice there'll be people in the building and I want them to take all that in there's no question but we've also talked about really locking in and, and, and trying to be successful you know it's going to be a better experience if you play well mm -hmm. so I want them to enjoy it I want them to take it all in I want them to enjoy the experience but but we're here to win and our guys have done a good job we've had a couple of good practice days and ever since Sunday with the selection show we've kind of moved on now and locking more into our game preparation I know it's all about the purple and, and the wildcats but do you have to take a page out of the movie Hoosiers <laughs> you're going to take the tape measure and go it's a 10 foot rim, 10 foot rim 15 I mean, feet to the free throw line absolutely <laughs> Absolutely. But you know what? We've played in some NBA arenas this year, which has been good. You know, we were in the United Center. We just played in D.C. Uh, for the Big Ten tournament. We, we played early in the year in Brooklyn and Barclays. So, you know, I think getting over there tomorrow, it, it'll be you do that by design during the season. So with the hope that at the end of the year, if you get this opportunity, you've played in these kind of arenas along the way. And you guys have won a lot of games on the road in conference play as well as most recently in D.C., as you said. Yeah. That experience has to be a plus. Yeah, our guys are comfortable on the road. You know, I can't I can't explain it, but I think we get away from home. We kind of really focus in. It's kind of that us against the world mentality. We know we got to bond together. We know we have to be together, and we've been very successful. So, you know, whether we win or lose, I don't think it's going to be because of nerves. You know, we're going to be ready to play. We're going to play hard. We're just playing against a really good team that's that's been hot the last month of the season. I've seen a, a little bit of purple here splash through Salt Lake City, but. Are you embracing this Cinderella role as <laughs> Destiny's Darlings, America's team instead of Chicago's Big Ten team now? It's been fun, you know, <laughs> just, uh, and I'm just so happy for these guys. I mean, yeah. I talk about it all the time. I mean, these were guys that believed in us, believed in me when there really wasn't much to believe in other than a dream. And so for them to get this exposure, to get this kind of attention, uh, to kind of capture, you know, America's heart with what they've done has been really fun to see. And hopefully we can keep it going. You know, the finality of the tournament is what's so brutal. You know, you're you're locked in, everything's fun, and then all of a sudden it's over. So I know we want to keep this going as long as we can. Last question, what's the next step in your preparation tonight for Vanderbilt? As you mentioned, uh, very good team. Don't let the 15 losses right. fool you. That's going to be a tough matchup. And on paper, I can't tell the difference between the Cats and the Commodores. Yeah, I think we're very, very even teams. You know, similar type styles. Good kids play hard, play together. They use each other. Who has the higher SAT scores? I don't know. We might have to. Uh, we might have to uh, measure that out at halftime or something. But that might be the tiebreaker, right? But but it's going to be a hard fought game. You know, I, I know our guys respect them. We've been watching a lot of film. We're getting to learn them a little bit more. That's the difference when you get out of the conference in the league. Everybody knows each other right. so well. Right. Now you get in a situation like this, you got to really watch teams because we haven't seen them as much, and we got to do as much as we can to be prepared for the game Thursday. Chris, thanks.